Outlander's Lauren Lyle is the show's secret weapon, literally. She's found her place and her needs, and we couldn't have the ridge without her. Outlander packed a lot into its fifth season. Weddings. Babies. Attempted murder. Actual murder. Locusts. But through it all, one character emerged as the true hero of the season, Lauren Lyle's Marsley Fraser. From training as her stepmother Claire's, Katrina Bayoff, apprentice to offering words of wisdom to struggling family members, Marsley, inquisitive, quick-witted, and perpetually pregnant, has morphed into one of the most interesting characters on the show. And Lyle is having a lot of fun with that. With every script I got this season, I, was, blown away by what Marsley had to do, the things I had to learn, really diving into who she is and her personality and her inner life, Lyle says. She's found her place and her needs, and we couldn't have the ridge without her. The season finale makes that clear. Marsley has become fiercely protective of the stepmother she once loathed, and after Lionel Brown, Ned Dennehy, is captured following a brutal attack on Claire. Marsley decides to finish him off herself when Claire declines to enact her own revenge. She loads a syringe with poison and promises to send Brown to hell for the destruction he's wrought on her family. It was an amazing, empowering, and healing moment to round off the season with, Lyle says. With quarantine still underway, I feel like I'm eating and drinking my way through the whole situation, she jokes. Lyle is still awaiting word on a start date for shooting season 6. We're getting a little bit trickling in here and there, but everything's been up in the air because of the world right now, she says. Instead, Lyle's hard at work on her new podcast, She's a Wreck, an interview series that sees the 26-year-old actress quizzing the coolest women of our time, think Wolf Alice is Ellie Roswell and Sex Education's Chai Nia Zedu and Serafina Bet, on the book, movie, and album that shaped their world view. The only caveat. All the art must be created by women. Normally you'll get a radio show where people are talking about the music they love or a podcast where they're talking about the big dark feelings, but, this is a, sort of marriage of the two, and it feels like a really cool way to get to know someone, she says. Below, Lyle breaks down Marsley's season 5 journey, filming that 60s sequence for the finale, and dragging a prosthetic baby bump around set all day. How did you react to Marsley killing Lionel? It seemed like with every episode the writers were going, let's give her more, something even weirder and wilder. There's a scene where I confess to Brie I killed my dad. I read that and I was like, okay, I can see that happening. And then you read through it and see a reverse psychology. But, with the finale, it almost felt like the writers spoke about it quite a lot, like, how cool would that be if that had been something she'd really done? How did developing Marsley's personality come about? Did you have conversations with the producers about bringing more of yourself to the character? I had a lot of encouragement to play around this season and I had a lot of really great material to do that. I always thought she has an element of humor and I come from a very funny, very dry family. I'm the youngest and the only girl, so it's been me and my wit sticking up for myself all my life. And working with people like Kate and Sam. We all really care about each other, it's not as though you have to work too hard there. Claire and Marsley have gone through a journey of absolutely hating each other from the first moment they met to loving each other, and me and Kate have a lot of fun with that, calling each other pains in the ass. But actually, we're really good friends. Chemistry works. Do you have a favorite day on set this season? Doing the autopsy scene with Kate was hilarious. She had to learn a lot of dialogue and I kept making her laugh. That scene goes from being quite funny to being really serious, so we were quite giddy that day. And it was really special because that was the first moment of everything starting for Marsley, she's offered this job in this world that would never be offered to a woman of her status at that time, something where she's expected to think and learn, a skilled career that isn't housekeeping and butchering, as you would, be required, to do. I remember being quite excited about what was ahead that day, everything kicks off for her and that scene and this new chapter was really special. I got to learn to stitch up like a proper surgeon. The art department gave me a big bit of thick leather, with, a sponge underneath and a needle and I sat in hotel rooms learning to stitch. And that's for a 30 second bit in the show. But we wanted to keep it all, 
feeling really real. Thank you.